Hillary has 9-5 suited on the button here. And he's raising. Still aggressive on his button. Can't really go wrong with this heads up. Unless you run into aces, I take it back. I take it all back. How's Pabal going to play it? Looks like he's counting out a re-race. Three bets to 1.6 million. Oh man, this would be a bad time to get re-aggressive. All in. Whoops! Oh. All in. One big bluff too many for Hillary. I can't help but feel like him throwing in that last chip was also him throwing in the towel just the teensiest bit. Anyone? Joe, this guy wants you to shut up. His friend's about to win an EPT. Don't worry, sir. Your boy's in great shape. I don't think many people would have predicted this final table going this way, but as it stands, we're 81% to see a relative unknown swipe this title from an absolute shark. Hillary made the wrong move at the wrong time. And there's an ace! A set for Pabal. Hillary now needs running spades to survive. Or running wheel cards. Down to just 4% equity. There's a very good chance he could be drawing dead on the turn. Deuce of spades would be a heck of a sweat. The turn card. It's a blank, it's over. Nikolai Pabal has done it. He becomes the second Belarusian player to win a European Poker Tour title. Hilary Sahami is the runner up. Pabal, the champion of EPT Barcelona. Hillary said himself that he's not really a tournament player. I think when he focuses, he's capable of anything. We've seen it in this tournament. I think this final hand is an unfortunate example of an online nosebleeder losing a bit of focus. Dan in the small, looking down at ace five suited. He raises to 155,000. King, queen for Victor. Typically, we'd see a three bet here. Well, Victor just calls, so we go to the flop. Surprising just call. 697 Rainbow. Jack's got the best hand with ace high, as well as some draws to a gut shot and backdoor flushes. Goes check, check. Well, there's the flush draw for Shaq, but Victor takes the lead with top pair. Action card. Looks like Victor's going to lead. He bets 180,000. Dan's got plenty of equity. Oh, and he shops. How much? Well, that should get the attention of the rail. I think Victor's got way enough chips to make this call without sweating it too much. If he does call, there is a 66% chance that he will win his first ever live title. Cool. He has called. I got outs. Dan Shack drawing to a heart, an ace, or an eight. Fifteen cards that would stop Victor Blum from winning the 2012 PCA Super High Roller. Will the Queens hold? Ace. They do! It's all over! Somebody call the Blom squad because this kid is blowing up. Yeah, you killed me, heads up. To the victor go the spoils. $1.25 million. Jack 10 for Roger. The old two-handed peel to go with it. Don't see much of that these days. I'm for it. He's raising from the button. 450,000. Ace 10 for Steve O'Dwyer. Uh oh, Steve's doing the dominance dance. He calls. Plays it kind of slow. The flop is Queen 8 8. It's a gut shot for Sipple. O'Dwyer still ahead with Ace High. O'Dwyer's playing in flow. He's checked the action to Sipple. And Steve can now call a lot of C-bets because it's a smaller pot. 
That's a chunky C bet from Roger, 750K. And I don't think Roger's gonna have much here very often. O'Dwyer calls. The turn card is a deuce, it changes nothing. Can Roger dump? Nope. Check, check on the turn. The river card? A three. It's a brick. Sipple misses its draw. Ace high is the best hand. O'Dwyer checks for a third time. I'm all in. And Sipple bluff shoves the river! Roger. Roger, what are you doing to me? This is really tricky. Last time Raj did this, he was stronger than the drinks at the players' party. But this is not how most players are gonna play their bluffs. And that is certainly the kind of thing a player of Steve O'Dwyer's caliber is gonna notice. We can see he has the best hand. A lot of players are going to fold in this spot, and if Steve does fold, he'll still have a 2-1 to -one chip lead over Roger. But considering he has the best hand, if he heroes with ace high, he will win the tournament. I think a ton is pretty good. Father time is going to need some time. Good call. He calls! It's over. Good call. Incredible call. It's high. With that hand, Steve O'Dwyer wins! Oh. Wow. I didn't have you on a bear and you didn't have one. I didn't think you were going to make I that was call. Just, I was worried I had a 10 that blocked some of your, your gut shots. So. <laughs> Good call. Thank you. And nice job. Thank you. You too. Oh, man. <laughs> Sipple, I love you. He gets more than 1.3 million for his second place finish, while Steve O'Dwyer cashes for nearly 1.9 million. Cross with 8-6. Certainly a playable hand, heads up. He elects to call. Jack 10 for Dan Shack, and he checks his option. Dan the slight favorite headed to this flop. Shack still ahead with a pair of 10s. Good flop for Shaq. He checks. Decent time for Fabian to bet. He hasn't got much, but he can semi-bluff his gut shot. 200,000. Shaq calls. The turn card is a nine. It gives Fabian a straight. It gives Dan Shaq a straight draw. Oh boy, that turn should bring more action than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Shaq checks a second time. Super good spot for Fabian. He knows in this turn Dan's unlikely to be able to fold anything he called the flop with, and his hand's more disguised than Jean Parmesan. 425,000. Very easy just call spot here for Dan. I'm all in. Players all in. Call. He shoves and gets snap called by Quas. A shining example of Quas and effect. Dan Shack is drawing pretty thin here. He needs a king or an eight. No chance of a chop. Oh, we have a champion in the PCA Super High Roller. Fabian is about to win enough money to finally get that unsightly goiter removed. The other German High Rollers are feeling it. And the low rollers too. On your feet, Germany. The river card is an ace! Fabian Cross has won it! And I can't believe he's been wearing shorts all this time! <laughs> More than 1.6 million dollars! Congratulations. Congratulations, Fabian, taking down the super high roller like a quass. Kings for Alvarado. JC's got about 20 bigs. He raises to 250. Dan Smith has ace king. Oh, it's all going in here. Really good spot for JC to double up. All in. Smith shoves, Alvarado calls. Now, even with this loss, Dan's still going to have a monster stack compared to JC. He'll still have more than a two to one chip lead. 
don't assume it will be a loss. Dan Smith has got lucky from time to time in this tournament. Truth. He does have an overcard. He does have 30% equity. The flop. Has an ace on it! Oh, man, isn't that the story of this tournament? That's the whole story. Dan Smith plays good. Dan Smith gets business end of cooler. Dan Smith gets there. The end. Might be the one-outer. Just one card in the deck can save JC Alvarado. Second place is pretty good. Burn. Dan Smith is on the verge of lifting the trophy here in Barcelona. The only river card that will stop that happening is the King of Spades. It's a three, Dan Smith has done it. JC Alvarado is the runner up, but bow before King Dan, who's earned the super high roller crown. It was destiny, kid could do no wrong. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content and check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.